Hi, welcome to Free Spirit and welcome to this deck collection review and what's the difference between Tower and Oracle, how you can find the best cards for you if you're buying and treating yourself for a gift. I always say Tower and Oracle cards are the gift that keeps on giving. Um, so whether you're buying for yourself or for someone else, where to start, how to even decipher, what are the options even. Um, so a lot of my decks, um, you could tell from my close-up reviews, I have a lot of decks from over the years of treating myself, especially holiday time, birthdays, whatever. Um, I'm finding a lot of people, they make requests of people. I have this on my wish list if you could get it for me. But if you're buying a deck for someone else, where to start? If you're buying one for yourself, where to start? So I thought the best thing, I've never done this. This is a huge, massive task, and I have about 14 decks here. Anything I show, I'll put down in the description box, including how I organized it. So what we're going to first tap into is if you have to question when you're thinking about buying a deck for yourself or for someone else, are they a beginner? Or are they more an expert? Are they more into tarot or are they more into oracle? And what kind of themes are they into? What kind of person are they? These are questions that you can ask yourself for if you're buying for yourself or if you're buying for someone else. So I put all those, you know, what to think of when you're buying a deck. I listed it down in the description box, but it really is, do you like tarot and oracle? Are you a beginner or more of an expert? Or is the person you're buying for more of an expert or a beginner? That's going to be a big deciding factor, whether they like Tarot and Oracle. And if they like Tarot and Oracle, uh, you know, what themes? Because there's so many themes. And, um, and what do they overly like, you know, in their life? Because then you can uh, find the deck that fits them or fits you. So where to start? So I believe it or not, there are sections here. First, we're going to start off with a typical Rider Waite Smith. If you're looking for like a classic, you know, Rider Waite Smith deck, if you already have that, you or that special someone, and want to go a notch up for the holidays, I love the touch of gold and bling. I'll show you a sample of the blinged out decks that have more gold and some, uh, it's a notch up. Then, if you want Oracle decks, there are different themes to Oracle decks. You may want to ask yourself, are you or that person an angel person, a crystal person, an animal person, that kind of thing. And then the last row here, the fourth section, is supporting local artists, ones that are not mainstream, not mass produced. You can go to their website or their Etsy store or, um, yeah, their direct website and purchase from them and, and, and just really support them. And also it's um, an opportunity to grab some beautiful artwork and have a deck that's not mainstream. And that's a perfect gift for someone who already tends to have a large connect, uh, collection, already has the usual mainstream. You can always go and notch up and order from an Etsy store or a local artist. So I wanted to show you some of those. But if you're shopping for yourself or others and say they just want a classic Rider Waite Smith deck, Brilliant Colors is the Radiant. Um, if you haven't seen all of these decks, I have close-up reviews on my channel, but just to give you an idea, it is all brilliant artwork. Really bright. It was recolored. It is all brilliant colors. So if you're looking for a classic Rider Waite Smith deck, the Radiant is gorgeous, and it comes in different sizes, and you can get a gift set, I love this card, um, with a huge book that has meaning. So if someone's just starting out, or you're starting out, going for a really beautiful, colorful Rider Waite Smith is a great deck to get you started. This is the Radiant, and the backs of the cards are this. And I have tons of close-up reviews if you want to see each and every card of that. But let's skip over. There's the Radiant, and then there's also the Universal Weight, which I love for its clarity. It doesn't have the blue skies as much as the other one. This is the Universal Weight Tarot deck. Also a classic. This is the backs of the cards. And just to give you an idea, the skies are not as brilliant, but the faces and the images are very clear, and it's still very colorful. And this is also a fabulous deck for a beginner, or if you want a really fresh Rider Waite Smith deck, I always recommend Universal Weight. Uh, it's one of my favorites, actually, that you could possibly get to start out. Um, so that's a great gift for yourself or someone else. I love the Temperance card. And it's still a very colorful deck. It doesn't get it to do. It's very colorful and it's very crisp and clean images, the faces. So that's the universal weight. 
And then if they have the universal weight or you have the universal weight and you have the radiant, but you're looking for another deck that has really nice colors for Rider weight, the Radiant Y Spirit, which I had on pre-order at the time. And some people, they either love or hate this deck. It's no borders, but it's very mustardy colors, just to give you an idea. Very deep, saturated colors here, and you either love it or you hate it. That's what I've been getting from people. They either love it or they hate it. But it is a different kind of colored uh, classic Rider Waite Smith deck, and the colors are very... I would say mustardy, very saturated, and it's beautiful deck. So if you or someone else is looking for something with different kinds of colors with no borders, this is the Radiant Y Spirit, which to be honest with you, I even like the name. Oh, and the backs of the cards are the beautiful, this is the backing. So that has been just a sample of if you're looking for a classic Rider Waite Smith. So that was the Radiant Y Spirit. I showed you the universal weight, colorful deck, very clean, crisp images, and the radiant is the recolored, really, really brilliant blue, blue skies is what I always say about this. And they're different sizes. So if you're looking for the classic Rider Waite Smith, those are definitely three decks to consider. So say you have them or the person you know has those, you want to take it a notch up and add some gold. So let's start with the Golden Universal, which is such a beautiful deck. You open it up, and I think it was one of the first decks I reviewed. So it has this as a backing, not gilded, but it has the bling. It's the gold foil in here. So this is really a stunning deck. This was one of my favorite decks to use for many years. You can see it's very worn, but I love the gold foil, and it got me into the gold foil the love of gold foil on my deck. So if you or someone you're gifting, um, this comes like that. So that was intentional. Just wanted to point that out. That's not the foil, um, you know, wearing off or anything. I don't know why they chose that as a design, but they did. And But it's very gold and shimmery, and it is the perfect, like, notch up for yourself if you feel like giving yourself a gift or to someone else. And you can see the shimmer. I mean, it's just really beautiful. It's one of my all-time faves of the Rider Waite Smith. Um, so this is the Golden Universal Tarot. And then if you want to bring on some more gold, I always think of gold for the holidays. It feels really rich. One of my favorites was the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. If you're familiar with just the Art Nouveau Tarot, this has the gold foil. And to me, this was so exquisite. Um, I just thought it was so exquisite. So this is the gold foil with the Art Nouveau art. and. It is just really pretty. Not as much, here's some more gold foil. The sun, they didn't overdo it with the gold foil, but just enough to feel really decadent. And so this is a great gift deck too, the Empress, for yourself or, you know, whoever, the gift that keeps on giving. I just think this is such a treat with a little gold. Um, so I definitely treated myself to this one at some point, but this is the backs of the cards, and that is the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. So if you really want the bling, the most blinged out golden deck, I actually did a, a deck collection review of all gold tarot decks. These are the three I just did for the sake of this video. If you want to bring it up even farther, this is like a huge gift box of the tarot black and gold, and it's literally an all gold um, tarot deck. It comes with this beautiful guidebook, very thick, and it looks like a masterpiece. It looks like a museum piece, to be honest with you. It's all gold. Um, so this is just really an exquisite deck. I'll take out some of the cards. The backs of the cards are like this, and for each of them, it is really just all gold foil. Oops, with black on black. So it was just so beautiful and like a collector's item, I would say. So if you're looking for the ultimate gift for someone that you know loves blinged out decks or treating yourself, it's just something really kind of special. So this is the golden, black and gold collection edition. And that is the tarot black and gold edition. And it's just really different and special. And so that's the idea of you can get, you know, a blinged out deck, you can get a regular classic deck, or take it up a notch and get one with gold with these three. 
then say if you were really not into tarot or the person you're buying for, you're really more into Oracle. The thing to think about with Oracle is what are you, what's your theme? Like, what are you into? Um, one of the newest releases, if you're into angels, is the Angel Guide from Kyle Gray. I'm like out of breath from running around. So people have seen this and have been screaming on the comments that they think it's gorgeous. It is. It's very vibrant and bright. But um, if you're into angels, you want to stay within angel-themed decks. And if you're buying for someone else, then look for angel-themed decks. You know, oracles have different themes. So here we have some images. I have a close-up review of all of this, but it's all of angel and angel messages, guardian angel. But it's just an idea when thinking about oracle decks, what I wanted to point out was that think about the theme. What are you into? What is the person you're shopping for into? If they're into angel, definitely go for an angel theme oracle deck. This is just a sample. It doesn't have to be this one. And if they're into crystals, this is um, a deck that came out recently, but there are a gazillion crystal decks out there. But I'm just saying to pick the theme that they like. Like this would be great for, oops, somebody who adores crystals. This is the backs of the cards. And each it will be a clear-cut message. But just to give you an idea, all oracles have different um, different themes. So if you're into crystals, I would definitely look for a crystal deck or if you're shopping for someone. And also, you know, some people that you buy gifts for, they're not necessarily into angels. So they're not necessarily into tarot, but you can certainly get them a crystal deck. This has very um, direct messages right on there. So it's like, it's not very... Um, you know, difficult, you know, anybody could pick it up and use it. That's my favorite crystal, Angel Aura. But just to give you an idea with oracles, it's all about theme, to be honest with you. So if you're shopping for yourself or someone else, think about the theme you want in your oracle, angels or crystals, or maybe you like animals. This is the spirit of the animals. That if the person really loves animals, this is such an exquisite deck. I recently did a close-up review on the channel. Ooh. But it's really beautiful. They're larger cards. There are tons of animal oracle decks, too. Like if somebody likes animals, but you go through. And the message is right on the card, which is another thing to think about if you're buying for someone else. You know, should the message be right on the card if they're a beginner? You know, think about what level they're at, what level you're at if you're buying uh, cards. Are you a person that likes the messages right on the cards? I went through a phase that's, I really appreciated that. Or do you like, you know, it depends. You know, look for what really works for your style and what works for your theme, you know? And if you're buying for someone else, if they're an animal lover, I would definitely look for animal oracles. Uh, and for yourself, check out what you naturally like, is what I always say. Like, if you like animals, definitely check out animal oracles. Or if you like crystals, or the person you're buying for likes crystals, can't go wrong. And if you like angels, you can't go wrong. Now, see, the person you're buying for, or yourself, you have all of these kind of decks already. You're looking for something different, a little more eclectic. You want to support local artists or real artists, you know, not mainstream, not whatever. Okay, you can go to various artists' websites. One... Let me go to this one. Spirit cards. Ever since I got this in the summer, I love it. John Arthur Mosley, his website's down below. Him and, you know, tons of other artists, they release their own Oracle decks, and it's exquisite. You know, usually it's really finely made. So for a gift to someone, um, this is really special when you find these kind of decks on someone's website or an Etsy store. I'll show you some I got from Etsy. But beautiful images on this deck. It's all about the spirit. It's called spirit cards. So it's the spirit of animals, spirit in nature, spirit. Look, see princess. I love this stance. Just beautiful. His paintings are all in um, this artwork. It's really, really beautiful. It's a lot of animals and earthy, and it's the spirit of everything in the stack crystal spirit, just to give you an idea. But if you're looking for decks for yourself or for someone else that's a little different, I always say like Etsy's great, people's um, direct websites, and supporting these artists too. And this is gold gilding. And you usually find the decks are just exquisite. I mean, they're a little more expensive, but for example, most people know Chiara Marchetti. 
you can go to his website and get those that are not sold in stores. You know, like one of my favorites, most people have the Terra Royale. I want to show you the retrospective. Um, you know, for the person who has everything, you can get like the retrospective, which is like signed by him. Where is it? Well, it's signed by him. But it's really, this is an exquisite deck, and it's silver gilding, which I adored. When I treated myself to this, um, it just felt like it was taking his artwork and making a deck just for me. It just felt really beautiful, the color tones. So you could really go to an artist and treat yourself, treat somebody to um, this wonderful gift also. It's really beautiful and like one of a kind kind of you know you'll always treasure it it's really beautiful i love this card with the faces and the glasses so that's the retrospective and then he also has the tarot royale which is really good as well but just an idea of you know for the gift that keeps on giving tarot and oracle for yourself or others at this time to treat yourself or someone the tarot royale yeah there's the signature gold gilding and the backs and this is the one that you know most people have seen many times but he has these on his website as well. And so let me show you also, I just think it's great to get something special, treat yourself or treat someone else. This has gold gilding. I would say Tower and Oracle is truly the gift that keeps on giving. And I just wanted to give an assortment if you're looking like what tiers there are kind of. Um, you can also go to an Etsy store. I've gotten this this deck from there, Alchemy Flower Oracle. If someone likes flowers or you like flowers, this is the one that has pictures of her natural garden flowers, and then she enhanced them, and it's just exquisite. But you can find amazing decks on Etsy and truly support artists and have you know really incredible artwork and decks. I think it's so beautiful. And of course, most people have seen the Lemurian Star Child has been very special. This you can get on Amazon or their website. But for someone who has everything, or if you're looking for something to treat yourself or someone to, this is definitely like one of those amazing kind of decks that just came out. This has 88 cards and it looks like this, the backs. And they're all, oh my God, it is so hot in my apartment and I'm like out of breath. Um, just to give you an idea, there are big cards, large cards, gold gilding, and they're all really different. I did a close-up review of all these decks if you want to see, but this is so different and artistic and beautiful energy to this. Know yourself, manifest, light language. So you can look for very, very kind of shine your light, different kinds of decks for the person who has everything. Um, awakening, you can still find some amazing decks out there and really gift yourself or others with the gift of Tarot and Oracle. One of my favorites I'll end it with that I had to include was this deck. It was so beautiful, which I'll put down below her website. It's from Carol Herzer. Um, for the person who has everything or you have everything you're looking for, a one of a kind, truly one of a kind, she glitters and paints uh, the decks and so it comes in this and there are so many different types on her website to choose from different sizes different ways but it is truly brilliant I got the illuminated to BBD black border um, the bo black border deck without titles from Carol Herzer and she signs it and everything else but and this one has glitter and it was like the real large size glitter so special. I mean, this was a major treat to myself, but um, worth every penny, like I treasure it. It has little uh, glitter and sparkles. In fact, this card I use all the time. A lot of the times when I give messages for the channel, I think it's part of my intro because I think it's just stunning. Um, and then you have, it's all sparkly and iridescent paints. And it comes in different sizes, and you're really, you're also, I love the higher thing on this with the green, but you're really supporting artists, you know, you're supporting their artistry. It's one of a kind, definitely, and it's something that, you know, is special for the person who has a lot of decks. Look at how beautiful. And uh, if you're looking for a gift for someone or yourself, um, this was definitely a huge treat when I did it for myself. 
So I wanted to, you know, do like an overview and show you that, you know, this last row was all about supporting, you know, local artists, ones that, you know, it's right from their website, right from that, right from their website, and one of a kind, you know, this row. This is Oracle's different themes you want to keep in mind if you're shopping for yourself or others. Think about what they like, you know, are they into angels, are they into crystals, are they into animals? You can't really go wrong with, with thinking that way. And with tarot, if you're just starting out and you want a classic one, I would go for the bright colors, radiant or universal weight. Um, if you have those, maybe a radiant wise. To bring it up a notch, like add some bling or some gold, especially for a gift for yourself or others for holiday time. I even think it was last year I bought this tarot black and gold edition for the holidays or use it. You know, it's these three. Uh, there's something about the gold in them is really what takes it to another level. So I wanted to just show a video of different types of decks, what to keep in mind when you're shopping for yourself or others. You know, do you want tarot? Do you want oracle? And what themes? And if you, if you want to get something even different, go on Etsy or artist websites and see what they're offering because you can find some really amazing decks um, that are not widely known yet, I should say yet, or, you know, anything like that. Um, it's not just mainstream decks that are around. And um, so I just wanted to share, you know, some samples of different types of tarot decks and oracle decks and where to start, what feels right and which direction to go and what to think about when you're shopping for yourself or others. And of course, if you ever want to buy a deck, I always say look online. You don't necessarily have to use my channel, but I have countless of close-up reviews. But definitely Google the deck and check out the inside. Check out if you like the theme, if you like the artwork, if you like the messages. You know, check it out. Back in the day when I started out buying decks, um, it wasn't around like that. Um, I'm aging myself, but you could not go online and find pictures and see the inside. So a lot of the times you didn't know until you got home and opened the box. So that's part of the reason why I think I like doing this. It's like, so you can see what you're immediately pulled to. I always say, trust your own, um, you know, what you think. You know, anybody can recommend a deck. And I'm certainly not even really recommending these. I'm just giving you a sample of what each kind of category is and what to keep in mind. But definitely follow your own instincts, your own intuition. You could feel really guided to certain decks and follow that up because, you know, a deck can only provide you messages of what's in the deck. And sometimes you're guided to find a deck that has messages for you. And um, when you're shopping for other people, definitely keep in mind, you know, are they a beginner? Or are they an expert? That's number one. Are they into tarot or are they into oracle? If they're into tarot and they have a lot of decks, you might want to look for a little nuance, you know, like a little, you know, something that has something other than the classics because they probably have that. If someone's an oracle lover, definitely find out what's the theme, like what kind of person are they? Do they like animals, angels, crystals, that kind of thing? because um, then you can find an oracle that's along their theme that's really like them. And if you're gifting yourself, I mean, this is the best time to do it. I've bought some of my favorite stuff, um, you know, around holiday time. And just, tr I always remember when I bought them, like this one, the Tara Black and Gold, it was so goldy. I, I will always remember I bought it last year at holiday Christmas, uh, Christmas time. And um, this, this deck was a treat to myself. I'll always remember when I got that one. Um, it, it has an extra memory of when you bought it. It's really weird. So whether you gift yourself or others, I just wanted to give a huge kind of selection and um, break it down of what to think about when you're purchasing decks for yourself or others. And I always say, Tarot and Oracle is such the gift that keeps on giving. It really does. Like I never think twice. I mean, it, it really does. It, it is the gift that keeps on giving. So I wish you all the happy holidays and treat yourself really well. And if you feel called to a deck, enjoy and have a very happy holiday time. Take care. Bye-bye.